So this is my MEP 802A 5KW generator. Uh, when I bought this thing as a non-runner, um, it had a number of problems, but first and foremost, the oil pressure relief was stuck and the oil pressure was shooting to over 240 PSI, which was causing the lifters to pump up and to oh, hold the valves open, shutting the unit off. Since then, I have corrected that. I've got the engine running. Um, it actually pulls the load although I'm having a little bit of problem with the overload light tripping prematurely. I think I got that taken care of. Um, however, this thing shakes like crazy. This thing is the definition of a paint shaker. Um, I know MEP 802s are known for shaking because they are a two cylinder design and the pistons move in unison. So it acts like a giant single cylinder engine. However, I've owned a couple of these and this one is definitely got something wrong with it. So looking through it, um, I've done a number of things since this thing did have a problem with the oil pressure relief I went ahead and pulled these valve covers off and yanked the push rods out Did the little test per the TM to make sure they were still straight. Um, everything looked good So I put them back in tightened down the rockers um, Torqued them per spec and waited 90 minutes to start the engine back up allowing the lifters to bleed down um, I went ahead and checked the injection pumps made sure they were all rotated fully counterclockwise per the TM. Um, everything looked good there. This engine starts and runs pretty good. It doesn't smoke or anything crazy. Um, the exhaust manifold, if you take a look, I mean, it's, it's dry and sooty like it should be, like you'd expect. Um, so, cruising the forms at Steel Soldiers and talking to... Uh, members like Guy Fang, there's definitely a chance that I need to pull the generator head off and check the indexing, uh, make sure it's all put together. So, doing that, uh, you can see I've pulled the outer case of the generator head off with the stator. And now, I've got this uh, runout indicator on the rear bearing. Now, if I give the bearing a spin, it's a little crunchy. But you can see that, you know, it's basically holding zero. So this mark here, I've indexed at approximately 12 o'clock. So we're gonna go ahead, and rotate this thing 90 degrees. So we moved it about 90 degrees and you can see that the end of the shaft is actually climbed almost 10 thousandths of an inch. So we're going to rotate it another 90. And you can see we're back to zero. Now we're going to go another 90. And now you can see it's down by 11 thousandths of an inch. So we're going to rotate it one more time. Okay, and we're back to approximately zero. You know, give her a bouncer there. So, it looks like there's an issue with these mounting bolts up here that is actually holding the shaft a little off center. Now with rotating machinery like this, you generally want, generally want to be under a thousandth of an inch, preferably under half a thou. So clearly this thing has some runout issues. Um, so we're gonna take it apart and see if we can get that corrected.